I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand how to evaluate logarithmic expressions. So we will begin with very simple examples. We have two of them here. The question is evaluate the following. The first one is log of 4, log of 32 with the base 4 and the second one is log of 16 to the power of 1 over 3 to the base 2. How do we find their values? Well, the easy method is like this. You can always write down log 4 of 32 equals to x. x is what we need to find, correct? Now, from the definition, convert logarithms to exponential form. That means base is 4 for us, right? Since base is 4, we say 32 should be equals to exponent to the base of 4. 4 to the power of x equals to 32. That is the equation which we need to solve. Now, 32 can be written as 2 to the power of what? 2 times 2 is 4. Two, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. You can use your calculator also. So we get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. So write it in exponent form. On the other hand, we have a base of 4. Now that base of 4 should now be written as base of 2, right? So let's go one more step. 4 is 2 squares. So we'll say 2 square to the power of x. Is it okay? So 2 square is 4. Now, we can say 2 to the power of 5 is indeed equals to 2 to the power of 2x. Comparing these two in this equation, exponent should be same since the base is same. So we get 5 is equals to 2x or x is equals to 5 divided by 2. So that becomes our answer or you can write in decimals 2.5. So the first answer could be 5 over 2 or 2.5, correct? So these are the steps to follow. Now let's repeat the steps for the second question, which is log 2, 16 to the power of 1 over 3. Let it be equal to x. Then 16 to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to 2 to the power of x. 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4, right? So we have 2 to the power of 4 over 1 over 3, which should be equal to 2 to the power of x. Applying the exponential rules, we get 2 to the power of 4 over 3 equals to 2 to the power of x, or 4 over 3 is equal to x. Therefore, our answer is 4 over 3. So applying these steps, we can evaluate logarithmic expressions. I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.